That was so exciting, the microbi <laughs> microbiology. Um, Thank you. Right. Well, um, I'm going to take you to a very, very different world. Uh, I don't have theory. I don't have um, a big paper. And I just want to share something personal. But it changed my life. And I think we all um, have the power to change our world um, if we take action. And so um, I, today you see what I do. Tomorrow I see what you do. So I have 20 minutes. That's all I got to share with you. So I'm going to talk very fast. And uh, <laughs> so you can. OK. So um, how it happened? Oh, I see. The wrong thing. Right. Right. OK. Yeah, great. Now. Um, uh, I think it happened um, at a certain point of my life. I, um, I felt that um, life is passing by, and I'm not with it. And I have this panic feeling. And so it's just the effort to find out who I was, who I am, and uh, um, what my life is about. And I think it's a search for authenticity. That's what the journey is about. It's an inward journey, but made, um, made public. Um, the story happened in 1986, when I was invited by Arthur Hall in inner city to create an art park on an abandoned lot. And of course, I was fearful. I have no idea how to do it, didn't want to work with children, know nothing about community. But I felt this is the gateway to step into my life. I was fearful, and all throughout the different projects I took on, but I realized that fear is good. It tells us there is danger when there is challenge, and it, it is there to guard us. And so, anyway, the story really is up. Since I am an artist, I don't know much about um, uh, science, no technology, no big uh, building possibility, um, but I can paint. And so um, I took the paint and I went to, into the band, abandoned lot, and the story unfolding is really discovering the power of art in transforming individual um, community and our environment. I am so grateful to be invited here to share, because we don't hear art in the, um, in the changing of society. And I can tell you that. I can tell you that the art, we all have it. It's the creativity and light in us. We all have the power, and it is one of the most accessible, democratic, nurturing, compassionate way to include with people, supporting each other. And at the end, we are nurtured, we share, and uh, that's the process. And I, we usually think, University, we're here, learned theory, and we know. And through my own experience, I came from the academic world. I have a tenure professorship that I gave up in order to pursue this path. And I came to the broken community, and that taught me the depth of humanity in our power to destroy and in our power to embrace and to love. And that's where it began, in North Philadelphia. And the per first person who helped me is Joseph Williams right there. He, um, and no Nobody came out. It was in the 80s. Nobody talked about the community, broken community, or whatever. But it is the children. And it's an inward journey. I try to find my own center, my own authenticity. When it's manifested, it's, it's in the way we build. And I literally didn't know how to design a park, a, a, a space that is so chaotic. And I said, let's draw a center from here. And from here, we build. And uh, we have very little money. And, and sometimes it's good. We have to be innovative, creative. And the children, street person, broken down people, that's the people who came to me. For the three, first three years, nobody came and helped me. And the adults were laughing their teeth off our project. And the <laughs> people who came were my crew, three and a half to 13 year old. And so they came to my rescue. 
never did big, pu uh, big uh, public art, but this is my first um, public art, three-story high, 90 feet tall. And with the children and community, we did transform an abandoned lot into a very huge, uh, huge that's the beginning, Ileife Park. Now, in our neighborhood, it's very broken. But brokenness, abandonment, if you look at it in different way, it is, can be a resource. And so here, a torn down alley, and uh, a Jojo in the center, a child in the center, up on the ladder, um, <clears throat> and then a big man. He is huge, isn't he? He, is, <laughs> he, he, is, he was huge because he also was a big person in drug trade. And 20 years of abuse, and he has has no place to go, and an artist from outside trying to make sense of her life. That's how it happened. Big man never did art. His life was completely ruined, and he thought he would die in the gutter, and uh, yet the mosaic somebody gave us, it's all broken, but by putting broken pieces of tiles, peace, by peace together. And people came and say, we like what you do. Those positive feedback, like rain that nurtured his parched heart. And so he suffered severe pain, diabetes. He couldn't get up more than two hours without soaking his feet in ice water. What get him up? The making of angels. And they never move but they protect the community in a marvelous way. And just want to tell you um, the rippling effect. Big man, he has sank so low, and he has suffered so much. When he gave up drug and become addicted to art, he understood. So everybody, when they feel sad, they come and cry on his shoulder because he has infinite compassion and sympathy. And this is our. And this continue on, abandoned lot, through our imagination and our action, we remake it. And this is our cosmic mural of the cosmic night. Now, this is the new book about reawakening creativity. And this is me in my homeland, China, on the outskirts of Beijing, and to the poorest in the, on the social ladder, the children of migrant, of migrant workers. And so the purpose is to awakening creativity. I want to do the project, not an artist creating everything for everybody, co-creative. And I went there to work for the people, eventually work with the people, eventually by the people, and the end. All the work belongs to the people. What a better way to talk about democracy. You don't need to guns. You don't need drone bomb bombing. You don't need any kind of um, billions of dollars in, in, in destruction. But simply create a new space. Everybody can come in and share. Now, how do you cultivate community spirit? Not just by words, but experience. And in the country of one family, one child. This is most important. But you can do it through joy, through sharing, through creativity. They're designed for the school mural. And through working together and make magic. And so this is the one rooted in Chinese folk art and root themselves in the shared cultural tradition. Dandelion, they are all little dandelions. It's about them. This is before an old factory, and this is after. Mm. It transformed the environment with everybody, 607 uh, um, uh, students, teachers, staff, everybody participating. Now, how do you build self-confidence? Not by words but again, by a nurturing action. So I get the student directly designed on the pictures of their school site. They just that make them feel so excited. And this is a wonderful idea. And then we adapt it and honor it. And does everybody come together? If we don't like a flat roof, 
we shape it into something gentler about nature, about waves, and about rhythm, and we make the color sprinkle energy of light on our children, and we express that blessings. This is a very unusual school. You see the words there. It says, "Let the heaven and earth be filled with love." We can do it in the public education, and this this is before abandoned、um, <clears throat> entrance. But again, teachers and students, and their lives is like fragments plucked well out of their country,、uh, uh, of their homeland, and far away from people who nurtured them. But look at here again. Piece by piece, we recreate, we turn brokenness into beauty and joy. This is after, before, and tree of life rooted in their learning, in their skill, academic accomplishment, and also rooted in their、um, culture, folk art, and dream. They can dream and blossom and reach the star. This was my message to them through the creation. Because my own searching for authenticity of who I am, and just a simple little person, doesn't matter. When I think of the world problem, I feel totally inability to do anything. But if I say, if I want my life to count, and then I feel I want my life to be meaningful. Then I feel something can happen, and I want to teach the students how to search for authenticity in their life, especially when the society say you are at the bottom, you're no good, you have no hope, and you're poor, and you nobody. I said. Let's restructure the mind. Yes, and so I said through rooting in shared culture tradition and through their story. This is an ancient bird, but we must not just copy. We must concentrate. To contribute, so I redesigned it, and everybody helped, and we recreated in a new way. Beautiful bird rising, shine to the sky, and with all the students participating, helping, so they learn to work together. And this is before, and this is after, and it's something you do not see anywhere. It's unique, and this is how, when the world is become more dominated by by the <clears throat> by. Big systems. How, where are we? How do we create that sense of intimacy in the environment that we live? We can through our imagination. Now they are all plucked away from their homeland. So I said, remember, remember where you come from. And so we draw the journey, their physical journey, and they, their grandparents. They left behind beautiful countryside. They missed very much coming to the city. Look at the impression of the city from the very north, Chichihara, coming to the coming to Beijing. The music, the big, so talented, and we didn't teach. I didn't teach them. I just give them opportunity and space and evoke their creativity, and I learn from them. And this is one beautiful countryside, wouldn't you say? And in coming into the city, and this is person who experienced the Qingchuan, Sichuan. The great big、uh, earthquake, and so you can see the rain coming down, and you can see the the mountain break open and black、uh, the smoke、uh, rising to the sky, and so on, and the beloved school. The most, the thing that I feel most proud of my project is how the teachers they were in, in, they were inspired by tree of light. They like the beauty, they like the vitality. They say, how can we get our students, our life to be like that? Well, they have problems. So their creativity was awakened, and now they don't have expert to help them, but they came together. They take art into life. And they created the trees, a tree of problems and tree of light. They have、um, the school. They have、uh, students has behavior、um, behavior problems, and they have drinking and and smoking and cursing and and gang fighting. Okay, violence. 
So the teacher have a brainstorm session, and they say we want to. They analyze the root cause, what's caused problems, and the manifestation and the result. And they did the tree of life. So they created the methods. They are so proud, and they took that method to every class. They have 12 classes, and every class spend one month of time. Student working together, figure out the tree, root cause, a cause for tree of problems and tree of life, and how. How do you? Um, so they synthesize after one month um, the twelve classes result and created this map tree of problems, tree of life. If you have to choose, so and then they spend one day. They have a school-wide activities and then they have exhibitions so they can see each other's work. They have a twenty-foot-long um, banner. Every child will write their name on the banner, declare war against the uncivilized, belligerent behavior. They perform. They take pledges, and they say that the rest of the semester, for several months, 70 percent drop in、um, problem behaviors. So this is art into life. And then the most、um, the most recent project, and that's called the Rwanda Healing Project. And how it happened? Nobody invite me, invited me. I initiated the project. The film was a little misleading.、Um, I I heard about Rwanda in a conference. My heart was moved. I said, maybe ten years later, it's not too late. I went there, responded, took action. I didn't have money, I didn't have plan, but I just re- responded. The life call in my heart, and you can see the unfolding of part of the project is the building of the genocide memorial and how people use it, and the other one is working with the survivors' village, and this. I call it kind of art that has not been defined. Compassionate living social sculpture, please. It's like、um, a shed, the sound, an、uh, animal shed,、um, like a very coarse concrete concrete slab. And you can't tell that people.、Um, it was people's remains.、Um, the only thing that showed it was a few bouquet of dry flowers. Then I said, it cannot be a grave. You cannot heal、uh, by looking at it. Jean Bosco took me to see a couple of other mass graves, and they all, some are better made, but they were all、um, by builders. They are、uh, kind of concrete and bricks and、uh, put together, and there was no poetry. There was no beauty.、Uh, I said to truly honor the dead. We have to bring beauty and to remember them in that light. And so that was the time when I thought it has to be better. And then he. Also took me to see the survivors' village, and the village is actually、um, deceivingly、um, pleasant. So I said, "Well, this is pleasant," until I get the closer look at the people. You just feel, you know, Rwanda is really being defined by before and after. You feel the weight 
of the killing and the tragedy in their body, in their soul, in their faces. I want to bring art and bring beauty in the building of the monument in order to remember the dead. This is what we do in here. In here, flowers and then stone. Ah, no, no line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. A space is opened up. Um, that we all can come in um, to bring our creativity, our strength in equal footing. We go there not just to give but to learn. <laughs> Okay, cut this, then you have a triangle. Yeah, whichever. Mm -hmm. This is blue, 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 blue. Yeah. When I read about two in the good door, say, Gustanga, and Baba, it's too much. Very cool. Natwa magufu acha kaba arahanu hagaragara habonye hatara hanu hakanu ka teisoni gate ingeke hari aho bari bari mu akari akarure ngaho bari batwishye kabiri cyane cyane iyo ndi kuri rwarwe gutso numva nishimye cyane numva ndi kumwe nabanje numva ko ndi kumwe nabari yanaboze bikaba ari nabyo bintera kuhakore bisuku bimvuye ku mutima ngo numva hanata when Jean Bosco told me we need to do the memorial first intuitively i understood it because of my father there was this this lifelong knot in my heart, I couldn't untie. It feels like I couldn't move on until I really look at it face to face. Then maybe I, my life can move on. We need to look at the past, especially places that hurt and then to look at it face to face and then to open the wound and to dress it. To hear the stories and then to honor the memory and then do our best to embrace that and then to, to bring to the level of resolve and rest. That's really the reason I moved to the project.
tuzajya tubibuka tubibukira ahantu hagaragara nicyo byasashijeho kuburyo ngomba kujya ngenda ngaterana nabandi na turi gomba kumfasha simbe mu bwigunge Yes, okay, um, the end. Um, this woman, this is right after the genocide, um, she was hacked um, and they were going to bury her, she moved. And she did got that to save her baby who was killed. And this is her today. And this is what I call the dance of life and the, tri the triumph of life. Um, so, um, the people say the genocide memorial, our loved ones can come home now in dignity. When we see beauty, we see hope. And beauty heals in a profound way. So at the very end, the recommendation, I would say encourage exp experiential learning so that the learning takes place at multiple levels of our being and engage the problems, the problems, the crises, the words in Chinese, weiji, danger, and opportunity. And we talked about the, the, the system that is set up and uh, um, outside of the system, in places, broken people in need. It has wide open space. And we all have that light and creativity, and the world needs us. And then so guided by generosity and love and compassion, and we need to take action and step in, and we can light up our community in our world. Thank you so much. <laughs>